Hi, Nina here, and let's do some color grading. So first off, I've already color graded this image, and I want to make sure that the next image is the same. So I'm just going to drag across the black and white adjustment layer that I created. This just added a little bit more contrast um, for me. And then what I've done is I've done some luminosity color grading with some solid colors. So the first thing that I'm going to do is copy that color there. And this is going to be the color of my highlights. So on the image that I want to color grade, I'm just going to go over to there and new solid color layer paste in that color that we just copied and hit OK. Now I'm going to go into the toolkit luminosity panel and click on highlights. Now all that color is doing is impacting on the highlights, changing the blending mode to soft light and the percent, the opacity to 10%. So it's only very minimal. Then exactly the same process for my midtones. I picked these colors from on the original image um, from the skin tones and the overall color toning that I wanted to achieve. Again, solid color on that new image that I want to color grade. Copy, paste, and this is my midtones. So back in the luminosity toolkit, I'm going to hit midtones. And change that to 10%. So back over to, again, same process. Now what I've noticed is that that's changed the hair color. Now, I kind of like it, but I might go back in with the mar with a brush on these masks and just brush it back to where I can um, I feel a little bit more comfortable with it. Um, that's probably the only thing that I will change, and that's fine. I can do that without doing um, deleting and starting all over again. So this is the shadows. Leaning on the shadows and soft light. Putting that into a group and naming that group. Now the next part of this color grading I came across totally by accident and what I did was just do a new curves adjustment layer and in the toolkit luminosity panel I went in and um, you can see here I'm just going to show you the layers the working mask layers that I created I've just saved them there so I can drag them across so what I did was I went in and I went over to the working mask and the highlights clicked highlights and it gave me all these layers now this is probably a little bit more advanced um, I understood what a gradient map is the luminosity levels um, luminosity curves and color luminosity so I just made some adjustments um, the gradient map was just a basic gradient map but I've got some saved color toning gradient maps there so I just popped that one in there and um, yeah I was happy with the result and just made some changes. I can go through that later in another video. It's probably a little bit more advanced. So I'm just dragging that working mask across and now I've got two images that are color graded the same and that's how I just did the color grading for this series of images and I'll keep editing these images and remove the flyaway hair with my own flyaway hair action.
which is the next step.